I, like many of my contemporaries, are speaking to you from my isolation room in the rectory. I realize because of my age and recovering from surgery how important it is that I isolate myself. I'm so grateful to uh, everyone who's been praying for me and sending me greetings and cards, looking in on me. It's greatly appreciated. But more importantly, it's not about me. It's not about me getting through this. It's about all of us working through this together. You know, this community is a sterling example of what happens when a crisis comes our way. We prove to the world that through faith and through family, through friendships, we can work through the most difficult times in our lives. This is yet another challenge that's been put out on us, another cross that's been laid on our shoulders. And we truly have to work together as one people. We can't let this be a political matter. We can't let it be some kind of an issue that is just going to continue to divide us. We have to make this something that's pulling us together, encouraging one another, and praying for the good health and healing of everyone. I, like so many, thank the many people who are putting themselves in harm's way to protect us and to work with those who are ill. May God keep special watch over each one of them. And to all those who man our grocery stores and drive our buses and trains and trucks, you know, keeping us alive with their products. Um, we're so grateful to every one of them. And so I hope while we are going through the anxiety of being kind of put away for a while, of our lifestyles being changed, of perhaps even by now our family getting on each other's nerves, that we can hold fight tight to what really matters in our lives. And that's the faith that we have in our God, who we know will never disappoint us. And so I encourage you to heed the warnings given to all of us. It is for the good of all, not just for the good of the few. And I pray that together, we, like every other crisis we face in our lives, how large or how small, that we know that God walks with us in these days. My prayers for each one of you as we continue on this journey to healing and to recovery.